Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video I am drawing Catboy from the PJ Masks. Originally, I was gonna do this voiceover in German, but I, I just did, can't, can't be bothered. <laughs> can't be bothered. Um, yeah, if you don't know, I watch the PJ Masks in German, it helps me, you know, keep up to date with my German language and not forget it. <laughs> Besides, I don't, I don't have anyone to like talk to in German in real life. Like, I'll talk to my boyfriend in German. He can't understand it though. But he understands a little bit here and there. He understands the odd word, and then I say the same thing to him really slowly. So I'll be like, oh, what, what would I say? I'd be like, uh, ich muss zeichnen, and then he'll be like, oh, what did you say? And then I'll just say it like, ich point at myself muss. Zeichnen and do a little, little uh, gesture with my hand to show drawing. Ich muss zeichnen. I must draw. That might be wrong, man. I haven't been in education for German since I left college, which was two, three, three years, two, two years ago. How oh, long? Oh, two, two, th two or three years ago. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this video is going up around Christmas time, so Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't do Christmas art. <laughs> I used to try and do a bit of Christmas art, but nowadays I just, I don't want to draw Christmas art, I just never feel the need to. Anyway, let's talk about this cat boy. So you would have seen I did two sketches in the start there, just little, little doodles, seeing what I wanted to draw. And then I settled on this. I quite like this. The pose is somewhat simple, but it's quite nice, kind of cute, stylized. I did simplify some of the stripes. There's less stripes than actual Catboy has in the in the show. Um, yeah, I haven't actually seen all of the episodes. When I started watching the PJ Masks, I think there was only like one season out. I'm pretty sure I've seen all of those, but. Um, now they're just making lots of episodes and I just have not seen what are we on like season five now or something no clue and then there'll be like an episode or a clip released on the German YouTube channel I only watch it on the YouTube channel when it's free <laughs> I'm not paying for it um, but yeah I'll, I'll watch it on there and there'll be like a new villain or a new hero I'm like who who is that <laughs> I'm, I'm still only used to um, you know the three main guys and then uh, like three original villains, which were uh, Nacht Ninja, Romeo, and Luna Girl. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I did like Arma Dylan, who uh, auf Deutsch in German was called Gürteltil, which I can't remember what like the pun in English what that translates translates to. Translate ship did the cannot talk, can I? Anyway, so yeah, what, what what can I talk about? My reference while I was drawing this was my little cat boy figure on my desk that Br uh, Bride and my boyfriend got for me. Um, he just kind of chills on my desk and he's good reference. Because then you have like a full 360 3D view, you can just pick him up and go, okay, that's what that detail looks like. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I used to think that my favourite character from the show was Gecko, and like he kind of is, but then I'm like, Catboy is becoming my favourite. <laughs> I don't know why, I just kind of prefer Catboy nowadays, so yeah. What else can I say? Um, this drawing took me about an hour, I had no clue what I was doing for the background, I just did some like doodles and slapped some colour on there, you'll see in the end, it's not it's not brilliant. But I like the drawing of Catboy himself, that turned out pretty nicely I think. Uh, what else can I say? I like how I stylized his tail, I wanted it to be in a bit of a lightning bolt since you know he's covered in lightning bolt stripes, so yeah. I'd love to draw a crossover piece with the PJ Masks and Rock. I can't talk, I cannot talk today, Miraculous Ladybug. A crossover piece with them would be kind of cool, like maybe drawing Chanoa with uh, Catboy and maybe Eilet with Ladybug, that would be kind of cute. So maybe I'll do that at some point. I used to be really into Miraculous Ladybug, like drawing fan art and stuff, but nowadays I just kind of, you know, I watch it. I didn't watch it for like a couple of years. 
And then I was like, oh, another season's come out. We're on season three now or something. So <laughs> now I'm all caught up and impatient for the next episode. But you know, just gonna wait for it. Be patient. It'll come eventually. To be honest, I kind of prefer the excitement of waiting for a new episode of something rather than it being released straight away. Because nowadays everything is released on like Netflix and it's like, watch all five seasons now. And like, no, no, I don't, I don't want to watch all of them now. And like. If you don't, then everyone's going to spoil it for you on the internet, so... <laughs> yeah. I, I do prefer things that release, like, we uh, weekly or monthly, you know. Just take it slow. It, it's much more fun, I think, at least. <laughs> anyway, today I'm drawing in Fire Alpaca, which uh, I don't normally draw in, but recently I've been drawing in it a bit more. I, I don't know why. I mean, I could have drawn this in GIMP if I wanted, just... I drew it in Fire Alpaca for some reason. I think what I like about Fire Alpaca compared to GIMP is, uh, well, GIMP is kind of limited in its brushes, and you can make custom ones, but, uh, you know, if you want fancy brushes like watercolour effect and all of that, then Fire Alpaca is where you want to be. They also don't have um, clipping layers on GIMP, <laughs> to, so to get around that you have to do an alpha to selection thing. Um, it's okay, it works, just not quite as well. So, you know, there's pros and cons to each software, I think. I, I just, I'm more used to using GIMP than I am Fire Alpaca, because I've been using GIMP since I was like 12. <laughs> um, for context, I am 21. So, there, there, there's that context for you. Yeah. So I've been using GIMP for a very long time. So, yeah, I am running out of things to talk about here. <laughs> Uh, I've been watching some of the newer episodes released on the German PJ Masks YouTube, so I've been watching some of those. And I think I'm a bit behind, there's a couple I haven't seen. Um, I just watched Romeo Braucht Hilfe, which I think it's the Flying Factory or something in English. I don't know, I don't know the English titles. <laughs> I mean, they come up on screen, but I don't pay attention to them because they're just saying the things in German, so yeah. If you're trying to learn German or you want some revision, then go check out the PJ Masks um, uh, YouTube channel in German. It's good. It's pretty good. Uh, I also watch like Vampirina and stuff in German. Like, okay, and stuff. What else do I watch in German? I watch PJ Masks, Vampirina, although I haven't seen Vampirina in a very long time since they don't post it on YouTube. They used to post it on the like official Disney site where they would just have like the odd episode available and switch it up every week or so and then er ever since Disney Plus came out they don't do that anymore because you know Disney is a terrible company <laughs> um, yeah so now I just have to I, I don't know what I'm gonna do I, I have a I have a DVD of Vampirina that I bought at some point why did I buy it? I think I bought it on Amazon for like a pound or something I can't remember anyways I need to watch it but my my desktop computer doesn't have a disc thing, so I'll have to watch it downstairs on the TV with the DVD player. Anyway, I used to watch Paw Patrol as well in German, of course, but honestly, a little bit too bland for me. <laughs> like, it, it's cute. It's got like nice stylization. Not like stylization. The the, the the little dogs are cute, but you know, it's just a little bit too young for me. <laughs> like. Yeah, I, I can see the appeal. I know there are, like, adults who watch it as well, I think, but, like, it's just not for me. It's just a little bit too much on the, um, dumbing it down side. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I like the PJ Masks, because there's, there's stuff happening, you know, like, they're running about, they're doing things, and the animation has really gone up in quality, like, the newer episodes have really good camera shots, and, like, cool angles and all that cool stuff, so I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, what else can I say? Uh, in this artwork I decided to make the tip of his tail just completely light blue. I know in the original he has way more stripes in the original and no like blue tip of the tail, it's just like the regular dark blue. Uh, what else did I do? What else did I do? I don't know, I just I think I drew less stripes than he actually has because you know, he has so many. He has so many stripes. And I didn't add a texture to the 
um, the suit, like he's got this scale texture on his suit normally, but I didn't draw that in because you know that would take forever to draw. Uh, what else did I do? I don't, I don't really know. That's about all I did for stylization. Well, you know, I changed some of the shapes and stuff, but he, he's mostly just the same, I think. Yeah. Uh, the the little cat logo might be a bit off, but you know, he, he's fine. I just had fun drawing this. So, oh, I also added like little. Uh, cat toe beans to the to the feet because I was like it looks a bit bland so I'm gonna <laughs> gonna do some like little paw details on the on the toes so I think that's kind of cute uh, I really like drawing cat boy he's the most fun to draw I think I've drawn a piece of oilet which is surprising because oilet's actually my least favorite so far <laughs> I just don't like her that much I, I like her as a character she's, she's nice but I, I prefer the other characters more you know. My favourite villain, I think, is Luna Girl. I, I just really like her. Um, yeah. I should really do a piece of her, but she's really difficult to draw for some reason. I mean, she, she shouldn't be. She's got the simple design. So, I just need to practice, don't I? <laughs> well, we are nearing the end of this video. I have no idea what I just talked about for 10, 12 minutes. Um, but I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not sure when the next video is going to be. Is, is it going to be this year or is it going to be next year? Um, it's currently the 24th. It's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. I keep forgetting it's Christmas Eve when I'm recording this. <laughs> um, it's currently the 24th of December. And then... I'm, I'm not sure when the next Wednesday is. I don't know. What day is it? What day is it today? That's Friday. So... I'm too lazy to work out when the next Wednesday is going to be. So I might see you in the new year, maybe? I'm, I'm still posting every Wednesday. No holidays are going to stop me. But, um, yeah. Well, I'm officially running out of time in this video, so <laughs> I'm going to sign off. So thank you so much for watching. I hope my rambling wasn't too boring. Please do not hit the like button, as that probably hurts. It's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one. And bye!